to uh, okay. Um, first off, you know, my appreciation and uh, love for this country, I love it here in London. And I've been coming here since 1998. Um, and our first success was here in the UK. So as the Black Peace became real successful, you know, when we call on us for, you know, earthquake relief, there was an earthquake or tsunami relief, there was a tsunami, or, you know, raising awareness of issues at, at play in certain areas. Um, and so I realized that there's an issue that's, that's happening constantly in the ghetto that I come from, but no one ever really notices it. And that is no education for young kids and no opportunities. And as the world develops, there isn't any opportunities around how the world is molding, moving, meaning that ghettos that, that look like the ones I come from are going to remain ghettos in the future. And so I was like, well, I want to do something about this. So I started raising money and awareness to bring kids in the areas that look like the ghetto that I come from up to speed with science, technology, engineering, mathematics. Because I've noticed all the people that were more successful in my world in the industry were all the tech folks. So like Jay-Z, you know, everybody was like, well, oh, they're all me, got big cars. Then I'm going to go hang out with the guy who started Google. It's like, wow, you guys are, you guys are really, uh, really rocking up here. <laughs> and, then, and the Twitter folks, like, wow, Twitter folks. Facebook folks, Mark Zuckerberg is all out of the world. But that's just success, you know? And these guys are young. They didn't like these guys were like in their 40s and 50s. These guys are in their 20s and 30s. I'm like, wow, you guys are like my age. Like the Google guys are like two years older than me. And the Facebook guys are like younger than me. And the Twitter guys are like two years younger than me. I'm like, wow. So I was like, wow, how about, how about if I encourage the kids in my neighborhood to like not just want to, if you want to play football, basketball, baseball, that's great. If you want to do music, that's great. That's what I do. But what about science, engineering, or coding? Like, I want to tell my cousins and my nephews and my nieces, yo, coding, you guys want to be coders. Coders, coders, coders. Engineers, mathematicians, you guys want to be those guys. And so I was like, you know what, let me, I'm going to go to school too. So that when a kid says, you know, I want to be like, you know I am? I'm like, no, 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 I want to be like, what's the work? I want to be in school. You know, so we started um, a program within I Am Angel. I Am Angel is my foundation where I send kids to college debt free. You know, and then we bail out families from losing their homes if they lost their job due to technology. Because a lot of times when people have no jobs because new technology comes in and renders that old job obsolete. So I'll go out and raise money to help families out. So we do about four families a year and then send five kids to school a year. Um, so then we put this transform program with inside IMA. And transform is like the combination of US first, which is Dean Kamen's program. If you guys don't know Dean Kamen and the kids. He's like today's editor. He created the, a whole bunch of things. So I was like, hey, can you help me out change my neighborhood? I, I love your US First program. US First is a program where it teaches kids from the ages 8 to 19 science, technology, engineering, mathematics. And every year they build robots and compete their robots in April. So April 17th in St. Louis, there's going to be a robot competition. So I was like, what? That sounds cool. So one day I went. And I was like, wow, 200,000 kids building robots competing. I saw this like nine-year-old writing code, build his own robot. Like, hey, who am Check out the robot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, how old are you? I'm nine and a half. I'm going to be ten and four months. <laughs> and this robot was cool and stuff. I'm like, wow, you are a nine and a half and you made your own robot. I was like, wow, I want this in my, in my ghetto. So we, you know, so he helped out, you know, with my my neighborhood put in the US first program there. And then Lorraine Jobs has this program called College Track where she's 
gets kids to, to contract and go to college from Winnipeg to Jerry. 